I'm having technical difficulties today. So I got home today and my phone said that hit it hit oh, sorry I have hiccups. So I got home today and my phone said that it had disconnected from our Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm burning food. making butternut squash soup for dinner. Um, oh, I just got home from work a little bit ago and took a shower. And now I'm working on making dinner. Butternut squash soup that I'm making is the one that I had referenced last week. Um, we never got around to it. Oh, so that's what I'm working on today. But what I was saying before is that my phone had disconnected from the Wi-Fi, uh, wi so I didn't think it was that big of a deal because sometimes it does that, but then I tried to watch YouTube on the TV and it wasn't working on the Xbox. I checked my computer and I checked the router and I don't know what else to do. I restarted it and unplugged it and... So, that's what I'm dealing with tonight. I'm ready to get a MacBook. Okay, so I'm back to making soup. And I have never made butternut squash soup before, so I'm really winging it. But let me show you what I'm going to do. So... <clears throat> Right now I have um, some big chunks of butternut squash in just some boiling water and I added one small onion and one clove of garlic and I just chopped those up really small. I'm going to add a can of Great Northern Beans and coconut milk. So hopefully it'll be creamy and have some protein in it. Now I've added a little bit of cinnamon, salt, um, some chicken broth paste, like concentrate, um, ginger, ground ginger, and I added a little bit more water too, so pretty soon I'm going to get my immersion blender out and blend it up. So guys, my soup turned out. I put some um, pumpkin seeds in there. But this was the first time, this was my first time using my immersion blender that I got for Christmas and it worked out really, really well. I'm really excited to use it more. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. I am about to go pick my glove up from school. I actually might be late, but I wanted to show you. So yesterday... It was almost 60 degrees here and it rained and we had a thunderstorm. It was very warm yesterday for February and we've had a very mild winter but today it snowed. It snowed most of the day. It looks like it's finally calmed down. But look. Look how much snow is on that car. It doesn't look like that much, but we have had hardly any snow this year, so the like four inches that we got today was kind of a lot and it all felt pretty fast. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Tonight, if the if the roads aren't too bad, we might go to Best Buy and see about getting a new vlogging camera. Um, I'm hoping to get something smaller because right now the one that I have is really big and it's kind of hard to hold. So. We'll see, but I have to get ready to go now, so.
Alrighty, I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so like I said, I was about to leave and I couldn't find my keys anywhere. But I just had a feeling and so... There they are. Hey guys, so we're making dinner now. Michael made himself a pizza. And I am making gluten-free pasta with um, tomato sauce. We were out of spaghetti, so... And excuse the mess that is my stove, but... We were gonna make spaghetti, but we don't actually have any spaghetti noodles, so... That's what we're having. And I will show you the pasta that I have been using, because this is probably my favorite gluten-free pasta that I've found. This is this one. Tinkiata, I think. Tinkiata is how you say it. Probably not. Um, but it's this one. It's brown rice pasta. This is definitely the best brand that I have found. I've also found that I like... Um, brown rice and quinoa pasta a lot better than brown rice and corn pasta so if you're gluten free that's a good tip okay so my sauce is just about done but i wanted to tell you how i made it mostly because i will probably wonder later on and not remember so i had a pack of i think ground pork i think that's what it was but you could use anything even if you wanted to make it vegan i guess but i used parsley flakes, this Italian seasoning, um, I had one small onion chopped up in there, some garlic powder, I used one can of tomato sauce, and I had actually a little bit of ginger powder and paprika in there with just a tiny pinch of sugar to cut the acidity of the tomatoes. And I think that's it. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of chopped kale to it also. I just remembered that I also added a pinch of salt and some crushed red pepper flakes too. Okay, so this is what it looks like all finished. I'm gonna have this for dinner and then I'm gonna have a glass of orange juice and probably some almond milk later. Um, I like to use the Simply Orange Juice. I like pulp in my orange juice and I like this brand because it's not GMO. Yeah, non GMO. So we're going to eat and then I think we'll sit and watch Gotham because it's, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah. So that's the plan for the evening.